Here we go. What's up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. Today, I'm starting something new. Start, I had an idea. I throw a lot of pots and I'm in my head all the time and I have lots of different thoughts. So I thought might as well do like uh, throwing thoughts with John or throwing thoughts, I don't know, TBD on the title. You can see I threw all these already. That's 25. That was half of what I need to throw. I need to throw another 25 mugs for a custom order. Bionic Giant. So here it is. That's the mug that we're throwing with a gray logo. Actually, it's going to be gray colored clay instead of the normal colored. So that'll be interesting. Um, I have my microphone right here. You can probably tell it's a little bit different sound than normal, but that's because my wheel is super loud right now. So hopefully that's not too distracting. I have an extra motor and new bearing and stuff and like I just need to replace it. I just haven't found the time yet. Uh, but basically what I want to do today is talk about last year, 2022, give a little final recap. And then I want to talk about 2023. So yeah, 2022, God, we did a ton. We made 3,948 pots in 2022. So that was about 50 less than we did the year before and about 400 more than we did the year earlier. So overall, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the production. I could have gotten over 4,000 if I wanted. I have a ton of bisque wear. So I'll have more in January probably this year than I did last year. Uh, for the first time, we did a bunch of custom orders. So starting with that, I had a mug order from Anderson Windows for 350 mugs. And that was really the first one that like kicked it off. And then I probably did around 700 mugs that were all custom orders. So that was really fun. It was fun to like work on those projects, work with companies to like get exactly what they wanted. And it's kind of one of my goals leading into 2023 is to build that, that side of the business up. So we also did, I haven't really done my full review of all the numbers and stuff, but we basically did one restock every month, which was great. Thank you guys all, anyone that bought pots last year. We had a phenomenal um, event in August, the P epic pottery event, that's what I called it. And I'm planning on doing that again. I'll put the dates there. If you are planning your summer trips, you can put that on your calendar already. All right, there's my first mug done. You can see I'm throwing to a gauge today. That's not typical for me, but I figured I'm gonna try and get better at making things like super consistent instead of just like kind of consistent. A couple things I did not feel like I did very well in 2022 was the YouTube channel. I did not, I did not make a ton of great videos. Um, most of my content that I would, would put out consistently was on Instagram, which I did see a lot of growth on Instagram, so that was fun and cool. Uh, but I don't know, I just, I feel like I really was my best self when I was posting consistently on YouTube and when I was just really in the habit of sharing everything and that's when I was the most creative, coming up with more ideas how to make good videos, and like that was when I was the most excited about pottery. So that's one of my goals for 2023. One video per week, every week. I don't wanna miss any. Sometimes I get in my head a little bit about like the videos have to be really, really well done and they have to be super well thought out. And I do want them to maintain like a level of quality for sure. I also feel like sometimes if I put too much stake in making sure that the videos are like the best like epic videos all the time then i then i sometimes just sacrifice the actual ability to get the video out you know perfection is the enemy of done kind of thing so yeah at the end of this year i kind of made up three goal lists i had my personal goals which include a lot of like health and fitness being a better dad like being a better husband some home project stuff like that and then I have my pottery business goals, my John the Potter goals. And those are, you know, I'll go through those in this video. And then I have my Mocha Monkey goals. Because if you didn't know, I also own three coffee shops. And things have really, since COVID's happened at the coffee shops, or happened in the world, you know, obviously it happened at the coffee shops. It happened everywhere. Um, things have really changed a lot like a lot of our costs are higher our like wages are way higher our staffing has been a challenge like just a lot of things that so anyway i have goals that i want to work on for 
the coffee shop business, and then I have the goals for the pottery business. So the first goal is YouTube video every week. Sometimes it'll be a great video, epic video, and other times it will just be throwing thoughts like this. May not be quite as epic, but still hopefully enjoyable for those people that want to follow along. I mean, my thoughts with this throwing thoughts is it's almost like doing a podcast. Like people have asked me like, oh, have you ever thought about doing a podcast before? And maybe, you know, I don't feel like I'm that good at just like talking. Like I'm so in my head all the time, but that doesn't mean I can't get good at it, right? And I thought if like, maybe if I'm just talking to the camera, like that's not as interesting as if I'm actually doing something like throwing. So hopefully the visual aspects plus the me talking about content will make it so that it's a little more interesting. Okay, my second goal after the YouTube video every week, second goal is to build a new website, to actually have my own website, to stop selling on Etsy. There's really no reason for me to be selling on Etsy. Like I don't get hardly any customers actually from Etsy. All my customers come through me and through my social media channels. So I'm just basically giving Etsy like an extra percentage of sales. Actually get some of my prices lower if I get onto my own website. So just pass those savings on along to customers, which would be great. Okay, new website, boom. And that, that goes on, like the new website thing just opens up a ton of different possibilities. Like I'd love to have maybe like a little bit less expensive line of stuff, you know, that I have on the website all the time. So instead of doing restocks all the time, I would just like have stuff available all year long that's like part of different lines, but then have experimental stuff drop in restocks that are more different kind of stuff. Custom orders. So I wanna figure out a consistent way to like have custom orders like coming in. Um, you know, all the time. So it's not just like, like last year I kinda got a little hectic towards the end of the year with trying to finish up all the custom orders. So like, how do we spread that out throughout the year? You know, do I allocate like a thousand mugs a, a year to custom orders, something like that. So figure that out. That's number three. Number four is I would love to build an online like course, like a pottery course. So like, you know, you find one of my videos and you want to really dive deep into like, you know, a two or three hour course that like goes way deeper than a, a YouTube video would like, then you can purchase it for, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever it is. I'd love to do that. So I'd love to build kind of what I did when I wrote my book but do it in video form and like have it all in one place so that people are like, okay, I want to take, you know, Pottery 101 course. So anyway, that's, I want to work on that. Uh, next thing, Patreon. So if you didn't even know, I don't, I have a Patreon and shout out to all the patrons on Patreon. Um, and I just really have failed. I have failed giving, I have failed giving my patrons a lot of value, you know? So you can get on Patreon and I send out pots every month to patrons. Like if you're a patron and you've been a patron for a while, you'll eventually get a mug or some sort of pot that I send out. But I just feel like I could really provide a lot of value on Patreon. So if you want to go check out the Patreon, I have not revamped it yet, but that's one of my goals is to kind of revamp that, rethink the Patreon and try and build that community up a little more. So thanks to everybody who's been a patron. I mean, I, there's patrons that have been there since the beginning and I really appreciate it. You've been a huge support. Hopefully you have gotten some value out of it, but know that I'm trying to figure out how to do more. Number six, the sixth goal that I have is to be more experimental. You know, ever since I, right when I started the YouTube channel, I feel like I was, I just tried so many different things, like different glaze combinations, different forms. And then in the last couple years, I've gotten really more into just same combinations and the same forms. So I'd love to be more experimental, like try more Raku, uh, try more atmospheric firings, like building a gas kiln. We have kind of a, a, a little plan to maybe have a gas kiln. I'd love to build a soda kiln. So just allocating like time every week to actually trying to be more experimental and like move things in a different direction. It just, cause someday, you know, the, the ultimate goal is to like have options to do anything, 
wood fire, gas fire, soda kiln, raku kilns, like just have a little pottery experimental mecca here. So I'd love to move towards that a little bit more instead of just the same things all the time. Let's make some different stuff. Uh, and then my last goal is to be more generous. So I'd love to like figure out some systems in which we give more away, like have certain pots that we sell and go to certain causes. Like, you know, I've, I spent a lot of time, I spent studied abroad in India and I saw some things over there that I've thought a lot about and like, how can I use pottery to just positively impact people and the world, you know? So that's another, that's, that's seven. That's my seven goals for my pottery business. What do you think? Comment below, let me know. It's, it's, I feel like it's ambitious and to put it out there in the world. Um, I was a little nervous to like talk about it, but I did an Instagram post where I like said, these are my goals for this year. And like, I don't, I'm not doing anything right now to like move to a new website, but it is something that I really should be doing like now when it's slower, you know, this time of year. This time of year is always a little slower. So by the time this video goes up, I will likely have, have a schedule for the year, you know, of like when my sales are gonna be, cause that worked super well last year. Last year at the beginning of the year, like in January, I like literally said, these are my restocks every, you know, once a month. It was basically the first Sunday of the month. Here's my, you know, the two times that I open up my studio, once in August and then once at the end of September for two different art events. The one is my own the Epic Pottery event, which you should definitely all come to. Uh, and the other is the Art Wander. So those two things are really, really fun and just a way for people to see the studio. Um, and then I did end up adding one restock. So throughout the year, I set up all the restocks for the whole year last year, and then I added one. Um, and then I also added an event with Joel Cherico. And then, yeah, the one, one other fun thing that we did that we just happened, we do every year on New Year's Eve, which New Year's Eve was on a Saturday this year. So every year, New Year's Eve, I do a second sale. So like a flawed pottery sale. And you know, some stuff's not even flawed. Is this thing like sinking? This is not as tall as it used to be. What did I call it? The studio clear out sale. So we just did the studio clear out sale. I had like probably 200 pieces that had pinholes or like little S cracks in the bottom that caused it to be, everything was functional and everything worked. I just sold them for either five, 10 or 15 bucks. There were a few things for 20, but those were bigger things. And <laughs> I advertised it like a little more than I have in the past. And it, everything, so I had it all set up by like 8.15 and a couple people were there and the staff at Mocha Monkey like took a look and then people just started going up there and basically everything was gone by about 9.15. So we sold so it was, it was really fun. It's fun to be there. I like talk to people and um, some people were disappointed because I said it started at nine, but everything was basically gone by like nine. So that was, I don't know what to do about that in the future, but I mean, the goal was to get rid of it and we got rid of it. So it was great. And then I'm super excited for, we're going to Puerto Rico in like two weeks. So I have like four or five different potters that are there that I'm hoping to, like a couple of them I know we're gonna see. A um, couple of them I still gotta set up when we're gonna go see their spots, but I'm gonna make some videos about it. Um, hopefully just like gain some inspiration for the experimental aspect of my goals part this, this year. All right, well, we're at 20 minutes right now, which maybe I'll get that down to like 12 or 15 minutes or something. But you can consider this our first episode of Throwing Thoughts, where I have a, a, something I'm throwing, and I would love your comments below for ideas for other Throwing Thoughts. I think, you know, just one that I had in my head right now was like, should you go to college? Someone messaged me this like a little while ago and I just remembered like her daughter was trying to decide, she was really into pottery, trying to decide if she should go to college to get her degree 
in fine arts or should you go get a major in fine arts or you know what and I had a lot of thoughts so I I messaged her back a long message that was like these are my thoughts about why I went to college you know what do I think it gave me what do I think that I could have gotten elsewhere you know otherwise we'll see you guys in the next video